The machine developers say they are skill-based games that aren't technically slot machines, which means they're legal. WHS 11's political reporter Rachel Droz shares why lawmakers are trying to ban these machines outright. Some Kentucky lawmakers feel skill game developers took advantage of a legal loophole when opening up shop in the Commonwealth and are now working to outlaw the machines altogether. The problem isn't necessarily whether or not they are and are or are not legal at this point and, or whether or not having them in every corner of the state is uh, a problem. The problem is that they just showed up, started operating and um, are asking forgiveness rather than permission. Those who support the legislation say since the industry isn't regulated, consumers are at risk. They're not paying taxes. There's no regulations. You know, they say they don't let anybody under 21 use it, but I've been in restaurants where they exist. I don't see anybody carding anyone. The Kentucky Public Protection Cabinet, which is the state agency that regulates charitable gaming and horse racing in the Commonwealth, says while they aren't officially weighing in on if these games are or are not legal, they say they can't promise businesses the games comply with current Kentucky law. A spokesperson from the Kentucky Lottery says they know of at least two developers with machines here. Playomatic started operating in Kentucky in February of 2021, and today they have 900 machines across the state. The company says their game is legal because it's not gambling. It's a game of chance. You can win every time on our game. There's not a uh, amount uh, that needs to be played before it decides to pay someone out. The company says they're still trying to work with Kentucky lawmakers to regulate the industry. I should get a piece of paper here somewhere. Saying it would generate a lot of revenue for the state and help small businesses since they keep a cut of the profits. We do understand and, and believe that we can the, the industry would uh, benefit from further regulation um, and that we uh, Obviously, I don't think many industries come to the Commonwealth and say we'd like to pay additional taxes, and we're one of those. This bill was proposed earlier this week. It could be heard in committee as early as next week. In Louisville, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, these machines aren't only in Kentucky. Pesomatic says they have machines in seven other states. A spokesman tells us none of those states had regulations prior to bringing the machines there. Washington, D.C. also has these skill machines. But get this, a law had to be changed before they could start operating there.